baby, guys. We put Blessing in Theodore, we named him, in an enclosure close to the house to make sure that he was nursing and getting colostrum from Blessing, which is really important in the first 24 hours. And we wanted to keep an eye on him. And he was looking for milk from some other alpacas. So that just helps with the bonding time. Because Blessing had very little milk, I went to our vet and got some oxytocin, which I gave her in the form of a shot, which would help the milk to come in. And I also bottle fed Theodore some alpaca claustrum that I kept on hand. I always have on hand here because those antibodies are so important the first 24 hours of life when they can absorb into his system. You guys are doing a good job. Good job, guys. Good job, blessing. We gotta take him to blessing. Good job, Ruthie. <laughs> okay. We got her in. I set up a cot so that I could watch them at night to make sure that Theodore was staying under the roof. And Ruthie quickly helped me. So she made my shifts way easier and he was staying under the roof. So that was no longer a problem. But she quickly just took over and wanted to watch them all the time. 
<laughs> you want it down here? You want me to feed it to you? So the other day I made um, Theodore this little polar fleece jacket, but it's going mm -hmm. to be even colder tonight. So I made him this. This is in my work coat. Mm -hmm. We're going to try this and then he'll have an insulated coat tonight. Mm -hmm. All right. I think this is going to work real well. That is what I was hoping it would do. Insulate and cover the main part of his body. Come in too. Okay. And Esther. <laughs> I was looking for her. I thought, where is she? I knew she was in here. There she is. Ah, Esther. You happy? Mm-hmm. 